Hi, Arrow. Hello and good morning, Bonnie. Man, right away, I have to say thank you so much for sharing this story. I realize that you have been to hell, but you know what? You don't want people to go back to hell. So therefore, you are sharing a story that is changing people's lives, and I am so grateful for what you are doing. Well, thank you so much. Um, We're hoping that nobody ever, as Judy says, endured this. Um, Interesting that you paraphrased it that way. Judy had said to me at one point, uh, Mom, not even an aunt deserves to suffer like this. MTV documentaries, this they, for them to step out and, and to, to do this. And first of all, congratulations on the Emmy nomination. I think that is unbelievable because that tells me people are listening. They understand the story and they, too, want to make a change when it comes to domestic violence. Um, absolutely. And um, we have gotten um, so many letters and, and feedback um, on this situation around domestic violence. And I, Um, I think it's just so important that we start to address this. What is being done that that continues that? Because it can't just be something we found on the flat screen. Um, You know, you are spot on target. Um, They can go to judysfoundation.org and keep up with what we're doing um, legislatively to change laws and um, how we're Um, trying to help the victim on the nonprofit side, um, albeit if it's um, directing them to the proper resources in their area or perhaps the foundation being able to help them um, with whatever need that they may need to overcome or get out of their situation of domestic violence or abuse in their home. We're still that generation that still plays that game in the way of, shh, shh, don't talk about it, don't talk about it. There are certain things we're not supposed to talk about. I love the fact that you are creating the talk and we are going to talk about it. Um, you know, you are so right. And it is a um, interesting enough in this day and age, we still have a society that doesn't want to talk about it, doesn't want to either bring it outside their home or want to turn their head and not look at the domestic violence that may be happening right there in their neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it, it's a two-way parallel. Um, and how ironic in this day and age that it's just so um, difficult that people don't want to address it um, because yeah. it is a hard subject. It's heart-wrenching. Yeah, yeah. On, on the school front as well as the workplace front. And the reason why is that when, when somebody comes to work with something that doesn't look right, you go to your your person that's in charge and they go, I ain't talking to them. If they, if they have a problem, they can come to me. And it's like, no, it has to start with you. Go get the conversation started. You you are so right. Um, and, and, you know, Judy had said to me over and over and, and as I read stories coming in, it's so true. She said, Mom, it starts with verbal abuse. Mm -hmm. Um, She knew when the verbal abuse started. And um, how true has it been to read stories where um, it it very well does start with verbal abuse and escalates from there. And, um, but again, like you said, people don't want to talk about it. They don't want to be the one to get involved. They don't want to, uh, they don't want to put their neck out there. They, it's too difficult, you know? Um, and we just have to change that stigma. Um, the other side of that stigma is I'll share with you. Um, if it comes to race or, um, Judy was, um, a former addict and, um, therefore that they didn't want to listen to her because, you know, uh, She's a former addict. Um, they, they just put that stigma on her. And mm-hmm. after 31 calls, no one even, never even addressed Michael. Um, so we have a lot of work to do, for sure. Mm, mm. Yeah, you know, when you, ju- when you judge a book by its cover, we got a problem. And, and that's the one thing that has to stop because, I don't, you know, I don't care what you are. You're still a human being. And, you're sti- and she's still your child. No matter what, she's still your child. And it's like, get in there and get something done. Um, you know, absolutely. And, um, she is my child and, um, every, no human being deserves this. Yes. Judy said, not even an aunt should be set on fire, not even an aunt and, um, how right she was and to suffer the way she did and succumb to her injuries, testify to her own homicide with no pain medicine to help us to quote her just one woman, um, is really, 
amazing as I walk this journey after she succumbed to her injuries and I hear more and more stories. Mm. You've always been about the community. Your community is now worldwide. I mean, look look at what's happening with this with this documentary on MTV, The Fire That Took Her. You are now spreading this word everywhere. Yes, and um, I we have been nominated for an Emmy Award yes. MTV documentary. Um, that's um, very exciting because it does say that people are stopping to um, watch um, or to listen, even though it is such a difficult subject. Um, now, if we can just get some momentum and traction and activity to begin to change this so that um, we have solid foundations in, in, in the home and with the family, and then we can build a solid nation. Bonnie, where do you find your energy? Because so many families would fold up and close the door and not talk about anything. But but yet you you have got this amazing energy about you. Um, well, thank you. Um, thank you for the compliment. Uh, first and foremost, I, I get my energy from God. Thank you. And um, secondly, um, watching Judy suffer for two years, um, burn beyond 90% of her body. I mean, they amputated mm. limbs and, you know, to, to share, you know, I watched her ears fall off and to see her suffer and still say she just wanted to help one woman certainly gives me energy to go out there and pound on door by door, one house at a time, if I have to, to get this message out. Oh, I can't thank you enough. I, I really can't thank you enough because, I mean, he, even here in the Carolinas, domestic violence is every day on the newspaper and, and it's in the news. And it's, it's, it's like, OK, we, we've got to begin somewhere. And, and just you being this brave is just amazing. Well, thank you. And from your lips to God's ears, we're going to continue and we're going to change it in each and every home in America. Excellent. Please come back to this show anytime in the future. This platform is always going to be open for you, Bonnie. I promise you that. Well, thank you so much. And I will. Thank you. Thank you. Be brilliant today.